Here's a bird's eye view of the former American Minerals Industrial Site contaminated with low levels of radium and thorium, a so-called brownfield languishing in the shadow of Camden County's sewage treatment plant. Locals often despaired. It was unbearable. It really was. One, two, three. Phoenix Park. There you go. Yay. There we go. Today, officials formally unveiled plans to transform this brownfield into a five-acre park, shady green meadows with a natural river shoreline. The site that we are currently standing on will be the future Phoenix Park. And just like the Phoenix, Camden is in the midst of its very own rebirth. We're so happy that with this project, the Phoenix Park project, the local community and all of the citizens of Camden County will be able to walk freely to the water. This site's only one of about 14,000 brownfields located in mostly urban areas across New Jersey. They are opportunities. They are the lands that we can do stormwater projects, open space, economic development, housing. Frank McLaughlin manages Brownfields projects for the DEP and says the rehab pace picked up substantially after a law passed in 2009 authorized the DEP to issue special licenses. So we have private partners licensed uh, to help investigate cleanup sites. So uh, we have a lot of technical support now to transform sites like this into parks. Here's another Brownfields project in Burlington City, where a contractor will transform this old knitting mill site into 65 affordable apartments, a very hot commodity. But not every Brownfield site lends itself to swift, highly marketable transformation. Some require more extensive cleanup, others lack convenient locations, and it always comes down to money. We are the state financing authority that, um, the, essentially the bank, if you will, that partners with the DEP for environmental infrastructure projects. Phoenix Park draws on grants and 1% loans from a broad coalition of local, state, and federal agencies and will improve infrastructure to channel 100 million gallons of rainwater to proper drainage. So the creation of this park is symbolically a phoenix rising out of the ashes of Camden, but it also crosses another brownfields off of the state's very long list. In Camden, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.